Hey, this is Jake with the Tattoo Improvement Network welcoming you to Fireside Technique. On today's episode, I will share with you three ways to build up your line weights. Hope you enjoy. Okay, I was going to show you guys while we're in this tattoo um, uh, a couple of different techniques for building up line weights. Uh, typically, I wait and build up line weights at the end of my tattoos, but um, AJ doesn't live in town. He's going to be gone for a while. We're only doing line work today and I don't want it to look scratchy for months on end until he gets back in. So I'm going to build up a few of these lines. I'm going to start with the owl head. I'm going to show you just a couple of ways that, that, that I go about it. Um, you can do it, you can either run a line like so, right on top of the me you on know, my first pass line, and then run a line right beside it uh, to kind of double your line weight. Like so. That works pretty well. If you really want to beef it up a lot more than that, another way that I handle it is to, um, I'll move it down here and do this, is to actually scumble, make small circles, uh, and you can build it up more and you can build it up faster this way than just running parallel or lines side by side. Uh, you'll get a similar effect. So one thing that you have to look out for whenever you run it, whenever you um, build up the line by scumbling. Sometimes you'll end up on this outer edge with, you can see some of those scumbles. So in this case, I did a pretty good job. You can't see them. Um, but what you can do if you decide to scumble it is just go back on the outside of that, of your scumbled line and build up. And, and this, this works better if you're trying to really, really beef up a line. Like if I wanted it twice as thick as that, I might scumble it up. Uh, just doing it to this thickness right here, just running the line side by side. Uh, seems to work uh, just as well and doesn't take quite as long. There's not a right or wrong way, it's just whatever, whichever you'd rather use. Um, uh, another one final way that you can do the same thing is um, yeah, if you're trying to really beef a line up, kind of like scumbling, um, you could run, run your line far enough outside that you have skin tone in between the two lines and then you can actually fill in between. Uh, it's just a few ways that I go about building up line work. That's kind of pretty crazy. I watched you just do all three of those and they all came out. They like, all look the same. Yeah, yeah. You can, so it, uh, there's no right or wrong. It's just whatever you would, uh, whatever's, whatever your hand feels better doing. Let's see what a difference that makes, just bumping those lines up, how much it pushes away from the other lines around it. Um, and that's why typically I use it. If you want to pull back, or did you pull back and see the kind of see the, how it looks with the whole thing? Just that how that ear stands out so much more than everything else. So when we talk on the podcast about building up your line weights, that's what we're talking about. You can create a lot of weight, push something either back in the background or forward in the foreground, just with line weight alone. Um, so it's always something to keep in mind. There's another example of scumbling. Run that little line on the outside. And here's another example of just pushing a line next to a line. All right, now as you can see, I've got a little space in between those right there. So I'll come back right in between, fill in the middle. All right, uh, one more thing I'll show you while we're in this uh, is if you wanted to taper a line from thick to thin, how you might do that, I'll do it on a smaller uh, line here. Um, same idea, you could either, um, Say I wanted this line to be really heavy and I wanted it to thin down by the time it got down to the end. I don't really want it to do that on this, but I can show you. Um, I could either start with a line outside the line and then slowly pull it into that original line and then fill the two. See how I've got that space in between? Uh, I could fill in between those two. Just slow, making tiny, tiny circles and slowly come in out of those circles, see how that tapers. Um, or you could literally, I mean, if you're confident, you could scumble, 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 tighten your scumble, tighten your scumble, and do all that in one pass, if that makes any sense. Um, if, if you'd rather, if you don't feel comfortable doing that, running the two lines side by side works really well, and then filling in between. And um, you, know, you can always build those up more if you need to. That's it, man, that's how you do lines. How I do lines. <laughs>